Hey everybody, Dean Thompson, founder of Teach the Geek here. I work with technical professionals so they can present more effectively, especially in front of non-technical audiences. And you can learn more about that at teachthegeek.com. Again, that's teachthegeek.com. And always remember to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel as every bit helps. So for those of you all who are out there and are hiring managers looking to bring on your next direct report, I have a few tips on what you should look for when it comes to screening the people who are interviewing for the job, the job seekers. Here's number one, take note of the thoughtfulness of their answers. If after you ask a question, they go right into answering it, how much thought could they possibly put into the answer? I mean, it took you some time to actually state what the, what the question was. And certainly during that time, they could have been thinking about an answer, but can you really give a proper answer without hearing the entire question? I, I'd say not. I think it probably will take some time, at least a couple of seconds, to really formulate your thought so that it comes out in a coherent manner, at least in a way that's easy to follow. So take note of that. Are they really quick to, to answer questions or do they take their time and, and think about the, the answer that they're going to give? Number two, companies are always talking about the importance of cultural fit, but I've heard a lot more about cultural ad. And the, I suppose the difference is with cultural fit, you're looking to add people who are who, who match or are aligned with the people who are already there. But with cultural ad, you're looking to bring in people who are different than the people who are already there. They basically they add something different to the people who are already there, to the to the company culture. And if you're a proponent of cultural ad, well then perhaps you should take note of different personality types when it comes to the hiring. Do you have a whole lot of, well, I should probably explain personality types. The, there's a DISC model. D stands for dominant, I stands for influencing, S stands for supportive, and C stands for conscientious. And those are the four different personality types, at least according to that model. Do you already have a lot of Ds in the company? Maybe you need to bring in more Ss. Do you have a lot of Cs in the company? Maybe you need to bring in more Is. Well, take note of the, the of the I guess, the personality of the person you're talking to. Do you think that this personality could be an ad to the organization? And if so, well, maybe this person gets a leg up. Number three, by the questions that you're answering, right, that you're asking, is it noticeable that the job candidate has a willingness to learn? Meaning they give you examples of, of instances in their past experiences where perhaps they didn't know something, but they were willing to learn and then actually learn that something. Well, that's very, very telling as opposed to somebody who seems like a know-it-all and, <laughs> well, basically knows it all. There's nothing that that they haven't done before, at least according to them. Well, we all know that's not true. So does this person have a willingness to learn, or at least do they show that based on the stories or the, the answers they give in the interview that they have a willingness to learn? And the fourth one is very much tied to that, four, uh, tied to the third one. Are they willing to say, I don't know? I mean, if, if someone has an answer to every question, I mean, is that is that reasonable? I'd say no. There, there, certainly during cert, certain some technical interviews, do you throw some curveballs at people? And if they just have a quest, an answer at the ready, this is obviously, well, at least to me, it's a sign of a person who's not willing to admit that they don't know. And you want that. You want people to be honest. You want to hire honest people. Just because you don't know doesn't mean you're not going, you're, you're not willing to learn. You're not willing to find out what the answer is. But you have to at least admit that you don't know. You're not a know-it-all. You don't know all things. And there are there are certainly things for you to learn. So those are the four things I think that that hiring managers should look out for when it comes to the people they're 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 screening for positions at their company. Number one, how thoughtful are their answers? Are they really quick to answer a question right after you ask it? Number two, what kind of personality style do they have based on the answers that they're giving? And are you a fan of cultural ads when it comes to organizations? If so, then maybe you look to the different personality styles to bring into your organization. Number three, do they have a willingness to learn based on the answers that they're giving? Do they have a willingness to, to, to learn different things? And, and number four, are they willing to admit when they don't know? but they're willing to find out what the answer is. That's just a sign of somebody who's honest. Hopefully that is helpful. Again, my name is Neil Thompson. My name, is, uh, well, I am <laughs> I'm the founder of Teach the Geek. I work with technical professionals so they can present more effectively in front of non-technical audiences. 
You can learn more about that at teachthegeek.com. Again, that's teachthegeek.com. And as always, remember to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel as every bit helps. Thanks and have a great day.